Sometimes your router collet just won't extend long enough. Maybe you've got it mounted in a table. Maybe you have a dust shroud that won't let you access the collet. Or for a coping cut or a really high cut, you just need that extra length. This is where a collet extender comes in really handy. I bought mine from Axminster Tools, although there are many types available from different suppliers. And once you get into the almost unopenable packaging, you find a very well engineered product. The collet extender itself is machined from one piece of steel. It has a mark on the shank which denotes the mounting position. It comes with a collet that can accept 12mm or half inch cutters. Other collet sizes are available as a separate purchase. The thread is well cut so the collet nut slides with ease. Mounting it in the router is just like mounting any router cutter. Just ensure that the shank is in the router enough so the mounting line is flush with the collet. And tighten until you make this grunting noise. I find it much easier to mount the collet before you mount the router in the table. Here I mounted one half of my coping cutter that I used to make cupboard doors with. The shank of these cutters combined with the collet tie of the router means the base of the cutter is not high enough when I use my coping sled. But once it's in the collet extender I have loads of height to play with. It's just a case of setting the height and the length to make these cuts and then using a stop to work against and then clamping the piece against the fence of the jig. And then you can make the coping cuts. Long before Covid and the world supply issues I bought a set of three cutters, the two coping pieces and a panel cutter for around about £30 off eBay. They were an absolute snip, especially when you look at them in the light of tool prices these days. Please note I'm just using a piece of scrap wood for demonstration purposes. Just ignore all the domino holes that this piece is littered with. Even when you have the router mounting a table and you have full access to the collet, these extenders can still be helpful. They could be the answer if you're working on a really tall piece. So somehow, if you need to cut four and a half inch from the bed of the router table, it can still be achieved. Note that this extender, like a lot of others, don't come with a wrench, so I'm using a cheap adjustable wrench. As I said earlier, you can buy different kinds of collets to fit the extender. I also bought a 7 to 6 millimeters. Why Axminster calls it 7 to 6 rather than 6 to 7, I don't know. They have other sizes available, but I don't really use anything other than 6mm or quarter inch, 12mm or half inch, so the two collets that I bought with the extender worked perfectly for me. In conclusion, for me, this extender gives me lots more possibilities with my router and my router tables. I hope you enjoyed this quick video, don't forget to subscribe for more content and give me a thumbs up if you like it and until next time, bye.